Hi guys, welcome to Adam McCullough TV. I'm Adam So Manchester United's heavy, heavy defeat at Stamford Bridge yesterday. It really did happen, by the way. Um, the news has revolved around Zlatan Ibrahimovic since then. And after the game, he was seen laughing and joking, swapping shirts with Chelsea's Eden Hazard on the pitch. This wasn't in the tunnel after the game, half an hour after the game, swapping shirts. This wasn't none of that. This was as soon as the final whistle went. This man is having a laugh and a joke with one of the opposition players. Now, I hate when stories come out in the newspaper after England have failed at another World Cup and someone goes shopping or someone goes for a meal or something and they get criticised for that because that is absolutely ridiculous. But this did piss me off. Come on, Zlatan, are you for real? You miss a sitter at 1-0, which is bad enough as it is. You score that, it's 1-1, it's a different game. But then at the end of the game, to act like you're not even asked about the result, laughing and joking with Eden Hazard, swapping shirts. Really? They've just absolutely dicked us 4-0. Where is your professional pride? Forget the fact that Manchester United fans are watching and they may think, why is this guy laughing after we've just lost 4-0? That's important too, but forget that. Where is your professional pride? You're supposed to be a big player, big man. Come here, you've missed a lot of sitters. Yes, you started off very well. But you've got to take responsibility for your performance. And you can't just be laughing it off like that. Now, I know you're not laughing at the performance, but still, how does that look to fans watching around the world? It's not what you want to see after you've just lost 4-0 and swapping shirts with the opposition. Wait until after the game. Wait until the TV cameras are gone. Wait until you're in the tunnel. Why are you doing it during... Ugh. Just, it really pissed me off. Um, now, I didn't see it straight away because I was, uh, obviously, as final whistle, I'm outside the ground. So I didn't see all that stuff. But I seen the tweets coming through after and I was like, is this an overreaction to something? And then when I actually saw the images, I thought, are you for real, man? What are you doing? Like, come on, man. I missed so many sitters as well in the last couple of weeks. Stoke, Liverpool, Chelsea. If his performances were bang on and it was 4-2, then fair play. But you're not even performing at the moment. <sighs> so annoying, guys. And I don't know if I was the only one that got wound up by that. But let me know in the comments below. Um, if Zlatan scores against City midweek and we bounce back, all is forgotten. And it was a bad day at the office for Manchester United. Hopefully, it's not a sign that things are worse than, <laughs> than we thought. Um, obviously, Josie's got a big job on his hands. We've suffered heavy defeats in the past. It's how you bounce back. And hopefully, Jose Mourinho is getting to work. He's rallying the troops because Manchester United have to bounce back on Wednesday against Manchester City. Even if it is in the League Cup, we need to beat City now on Wednesday because the confidence of the team and the fans, if things stay like they are and then we lose... Oh, I don't even want to think about it. Losing twice against City at Old Trafford by October can't happen. It cannot happen. And that is definitely not a laughing matter. Guys, get your comments in below. What did you make of Zlatan's antics after the game? Make sure you subscribe to Adam Matt Caller TV. I'm out of here.